what do you think about um, drawing and assessing opponent? You, you look great, brother. <laughs> I appreciate you. Look you great. Great Shiny slot. bright teeth. <laughs> But uh, what, what's your thoughts on uh, on your opponent, just Jerron? Uh, Jerron Ennis is an amazing fighter. He is powerful. He is strong. He's reactive. He has a beautiful IQ. There's a reason why people don't want to fight him. There's a reason why world champions have moved up to 54 that didn't want to fight him. Um, they know. All fighters know the truth. You know, I'm not taking that against anyone or from anyone you know if a guy can fight or not there's a reason why people outprice themselves why champions or former world champions are asking 10 million dollars to fight a guy who quote unquote is still a prospect now he's a champion but people are putting him in that category and not giving him the respect he deserves which he's been up there for how how many years he, he is a prime example of everything that i've went through and had to go through the, loop, the the obstacles and the loopholes and everything to do with boxing, promoters, and everything like that. The dude should have been a world champion five years ago. So, just real quick, do you, do you, do you feel like this is kind of full circle? Because when when it was um, a time where people were trying to get their mandatory, you beat someone. Jerron was able to get the opportunity, and now essentially it's kind of like I don't know. You guys kind of made this fight happen a long time ago. It just had to wait till the division got cleared up. Yeah, yeah, I. I feel like we both have known that we, we will fight each other. Um, he's kept quiet. He never really said anything about me, and I think that's because he knows that there's a real fighter, there's a real man standing in front of him. And I'm not going anywhere July 13th. Cody, when you were fighting in Ontario all those years ago, did you ever imagine yourself on the stage? And what has the pressure been like in the last few years? Yeah, I totally envisioned it. I seen it right from a little kid that I would be here. Um, just goes to show that you can do absolutely anything you want in life. The only difference is during those times you're going to have those internal walls that come in while you're doing it that make you feel differently and you have those thoughts that are going to try to steer you in different directions but you just stay true to yourself and stay centered in your heart. You can walk through any fire and you will not get, you might get touched but you will walk out and you will be okay.